We're going to talk about raw processing using the basic tab in Photoshop CS5. The first step is to think about the changes you want to make to your image. This is maybe the most important step. Without it, you're really just playing with the sliders. So for this image, we have a little bit of overexposure. You can see that indicated by the red marks on the image preview. And you can also see that the blown highlights show up in the histogram. This image also has sort of an overall bluish cast to it, which means that the color balance is incorrect. We may need to adjust the tint as well. Maybe you've noticed that this image also looks a little bit flat. We can fix that with a contrast adjustment. All right, so let's get started. First off, let's adjust the white balance. Since this image was taken on an overcast day, we'll go ahead and start with the default cloudy setting. The default setting looks just a little bit too warm, and it seems to have a bit of a reddish tint to it. So we'll use the temperature adjustment to remove some of that warmth. A very minor color adjustment really makes a big difference here. We can remove a little bit of the reddish color cast by adjusting the tint slider as well. All right, let's do something about that little bit of overexposure that you see there. This is a very simple adjustment. We're just going to slide the exposure slider slightly to the left, and that will bring down the brightness of the image overall. The next step is to adjust the contrast to your liking. In this case, we bumped up the contrast a little bit in order to bring out some of those beautiful details. You can adjust clarity, vibrance, and saturation to your liking, and then go ahead and open up the image in Photoshop. Always zoom in to check your image at full size and to make sure you're happy with the results. And use the preview checkbox at the top to compare the changes you've made to the original image. We crop the final image in Photoshop in order to draw attention to the foreground element and remove any distractions. And that's it. We're done. So here it is. The original image with default Photoshop settings and the finished image with post-processing complete. We hope you enjoyed this short video tutorial. Visit our websites for more learning materials, including ebooks and webinar recordings. Have a nice day!